Hello, in this video we are looking at how mortgages work. Buying a home or land is expensive. A mortgage is a financial product that helps people purchase their own home or land. This is especially true for a first-time buyer, as it might be the only route onto the property ladder. Essentially, it helps you afford to buy a home. The most common type are repayment mortgages. Firstly, you pay a deposit. Then, you make monthly repayments, which include interest, until your debt is no more. Mortgage lengths can vary based on the plan you choose, amongst other variables. Plans vary from 6 years to 40 years, though typically people have 25-year contracts. You make monthly payments to repay the borrowed amount, plus interest, for 30 years. With a policy of this duration, the value of monthly payments might be lower but over time the higher interest rates charged can add up. This can make a 30-year mortgage more expensive than a shorter one. They are long-term loans, so you pay off the mortgage value over a long period of time. The term of a mortgage is something you can negotiate based on your needs, finances, and property value. If you want to move house there are different options on offer. Option number one is to stick with the same mortgage. This is known as porting. The other option is to remortgage. This allows you to change lenders. Use a guide or advice from mortgage brokers to find the right choice for you. In simple terms, your mortgage lender will move your mortgage deal to your new purchase. So, the borrower stays with the same lenders, however, you still need to undergo an application process. When you first get a mortgage you must prove to the provider you can afford repayments. When you port your mortgage onto a new property, you have to convince them and apply for a mortgage again. However, you still need to undergo an application process. When you first get a mortgage you must prove to the provider you can afford repayments. When you port your mortgage onto a new property, you have to convince them and apply for a mortgage again. They then choose to accept or decline your proposal to transfer your mortgage. Often, there will be fees involved in making a transfer. Ask about these beforehand, to avoid unexpected charges. Bridging loans can help you find the finances to apply for a mortgage and proceed with buying a new home while waiting for your old home to sell. This gives you more time to find the right buyer, without stopping you from buying a home. When purchasing a house, competition can mean you have a short time to complete your purchase. Waiting for it to sell for the right amount might mean losing out on the home you want to buy. However, Bridging loans often have a high amount of interest charged. With such high fees, you should consider whether it is really essential. You should also think about whether the amount is something you can actually afford. If you are thinking about taking out a bridging loan, seek independent financial advice before doing so. When you take out this product you are essentially the owner of two properties until your previous home sells. If you have other options available, it is often better to take these. That is the end of this video, but if you would like to read more you can do so on the help and advice website.